Welcome to this week's Tuesday Tip. I'm Ebony Hall alongside the woman that you know very well, Vicki Bell, corporate trainer. And uh, as you can see, we have a new format this week that we're trying out, so um, bear with us. Of course, our first topic has to be Hotma. And we want to talk to Vicki about all things Hotma related. And Vicki, my first question, how's that going? Hotma is going. It <laughs> continues to go. Not as the way we necessarily would like it, but it's going. We're at the stage now that the owners and agents are to be ready for their MORs with a copy of their revised tenant selection plan and their revised EIV policies and procedures. There was a reminder sent on HOTMO about the May 31st deadline. And in this deadline reminder, it tells you that beginning May the 31st, the contract administrators and account executives will access during the management and occupancy reviews the review of the tenant selection plan and the EIV policies and procedures that the owners are to be updating. Now, along with that, it goes ahead to tell you that on the HUD 9834 form in category E, item 14, that the reviewer will make a note about whether or not the tenant selection plan, the EIV policies and procedures were updated. If there is some information that came from the HUD notice 2010, 2023-10, and especially the issue that was out February the 2nd, 2024, it gives you some discretionary items that need to be in the tenant selection plan. As reviewers, we'll be checking for those discretionary items. If we don't see them, then we will issue what we call an observation or a comment and it will be left to the owners and agents to uh, rectify or correct those deficiencies. Also, uh, there was a HUD notice 2024-04 and it just tells you about the transaction of the date and the time. It also refers you to 2023-10. Now, 2023-10 was put out twice. You want to look for the one that says issued February the 2nd, 2024, if you're still needing help. And Ebony, we are finding, even though the May the 31st deadline is here, that there are some people who are still struggling. So hopefully we can get something on our website as to items or topics that need to be included. And hopefully we'll have that out sometime in the next week or two. Yeah, I know we've been working on that um, and we keep going back and forth with versions about what should be there and what shouldn't. But is, is that what, the, what people are finding to be difficult is just everything that needs to go into it? Well, I think it's a mind over matter thing. I think they're finding it difficult that the entire program for HUD just about is changing. So I think that they're frightening or, or they have fear themselves, and that causes them not to just jump into it or to dive in it. And in our haste to get them something to help them, we first came up with a form for our RMs, a checklist. Mm -hmm. And inadvertently, we put it out there too soon. It went to the owners and agents instead of the RMs. And so that's why we're revising one for the owners and agents. And hopefully if they have any troubles, any problems, they can call us. They can go to the HUD multifamily HOTMA page, the okay. web page, and there's information out there. The holdup and what everybody is really waiting on is we don't have our forms and things ready yet. Now, I've been told from different entities that it's in OMB. 
HUD has written these documents and forms. They're in OMB for approval and that they should come out soon. We just have to wait and see. But you can check that website that Ebony just put up daily to see if anything comes up because there are a lot of forms that will have to be changed, a lot of forms. Let me ask you this, though. They were supposed to have these uh, documents done by May 31st. The tenant selection plan and the EIV policies and procedures. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a finding if they don't have it. Should, should they just go ahead and attempt to put one together? Or would that be wrong? To be honest with you, we're not giving findings just yet. We're going to call it an observation or a comment that they don't have it. Uh, there was some discrepancy between contract administrators as to whether to make a finding, whether not to make a finding. And HUD said that until the software was ready and the 203A program was implemented, that there will not be findings given. There will be what's called observations or comments. Now, once that is put into place, if they don't make the corrections to the observation or the uh, comment that's in the MOR, then it will turn into a finding. We realize that this, and HUD also realizes that this is a, a big step and a big process for a lot of people. The people who've been on property for 20 and 30 years, they're having to change their entire minds. People who have only been on property, let's say for a year or two years, they're confused because they just learned to do it one way and now we're saying that you're going to have to do it another. So there's a lot of confusion now here and I must admit that HUD has been very lenient in contract administrators not giving findings. We want to help. That, that's the goal. There are other people, other agencies. You can Google HOTMA and you'll see all of the help and all of the things that are out there for owners and agents to take advantage of that are free to try to help you because we all need to get through this together. In terms of the 203A software, we're told that it's being tested now, and it's going to be a vital part because we need the software to be able to carry what deficiencies are found in the paperwork to be able to find what deficiencies are found in the compliance, such as income and assets and things of that nature. So all of this works together. So all we can do is sit and wait and pray and study up. Yes, just being prepared. And we try to keep people um, in the know about what they should be doing and tips as to what they can do to get ahead of the game, especially with deadlines that are already passed. So what is your advice to owner agents and property managers, um, especially if they have an MOR coming up and they don't have those policies and procedures in place? My advice to you is to get something in place. Now, the owners and agents should already have tenant selection plans. Some people are rewriting them all together. HUD says that they have to be revised and updated. So I have seen companies who have just taken their old plan and they've added the new lingo or the new lingo from the notices, from the HUD notice 2023-10 and the discretionary policies. So I can't say that you need to rewrite the entire policy because that might not be for you. You might want to do additions to the policies that you have. Uh, I've seen where some companies have used the figure in Chapter 4 of the handbook because that's what your original policies have. They have those steps of what's required and what's recommended. And I've seen them make the changes. This is new, it's a hot change, we will change this. This is not, we will leave it the same. It's all really left up to you, but you have to have something that is produced 
for your reviewers, whether it's your HUD reviewer or whether it's your contract administrator reviewer, to review on that MOR date. It's, and, I'm ahead. sorry. Sorry to interrupt. It seems like it would be easier to take your current TSP and just update it with those notes instead of starting from scratch. I mean, six and a half a dozen. Some people <laughs> prefer to do it that way, and some people want to start over. There are agencies and there are companies who have done this for uh, owners and agents. My advice to you as far as an upcoming MOR is have something to show your reviewer. Have some type of good faith effort that you have tried to do this. Like I say, you won't receive a finding. You will only receive a uh, observation or a comment and that's what that reminder notice, that hot uh, May the 31st deadline reminder notice tells you. But you are going to have to eventually have it. Hotma is here. It uh, was a congressional thing. It was not a HUD thing. A lot of people want to blame HUD. HUD shouldn't do this. HUD shouldn't do that. But this was far above the HUD level. And so it's coming. We have to get ready for it and do the best we can. Uh, anything else that you want to talk to the people about today? I'd like to say that we do have a new trainer at Navigate, and she's going to be doing some easy tips, some Tuesday tips on things that should be in your tenant selection plan and just follow it along. I also would like to ask you guys, we're changing our format. We want more input for you. We want to give you what you feel that you need. So make sure that you submit topics that you would like to see discussed on Tuesday tips to us. This whole thing was set up to be a service to you. So take advantage of the service and let us know the things that you, you're having trouble with. And we will dedicate the fourth Tuesday in every month to answering some of those questions. Yes, and it's up on your screen now. It's navigatehousing.com, our website, and it's slash submit hyphen a hyphen Tuesday tip on our website. So go and submit those. You can even upload a video with your question and we can feature it here on the video podcast, which I think is exciting. In all the years that we've had this page up, Vicki, no one has ever like uploaded a video. I would like to see that. Oh, well, let me encourage you that uh, you should upload a video and we could talk directly about and to your questions. That'd be great. Uh, also, just uh, on social media, I want to let people know where they can follow us. If you haven't already followed us at Navigate Housing on all platforms, that's LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We also have a YouTube channel. Hopefully that's how you're watching us now. Um, so go follow, subscribe, and like everything that we do. I appreciate that. <laughs> if you like everything we do and also share it among your colleagues, uh, get the discussion going because really it is just like talking it out with our colleagues that's going to help us make it through this hot thing, I believe. And, and some of the things and some of the questions that you guys will send me emails to ask. Other people want to know. So I think that, I thank Ebony for this new format. I think it might make it a little warmer, a little cozier for you. Uh, but just remember, if you have a question, somebody else has that same question. So let's just share it. This platform is for you, for you to share. And um, I look forward to what the future brings us with this. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. I feel like it's going to allow us to move into the future. Y'all see all this gray hair. I move slowly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's why we're going to do it every fourth Tuesday. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, if you do have questions, comments, you can go to that webpage. You can also email Vicki at vbell at navigatehousing.com. And of course, our uh, website is navigatehousing.com. That's not the right one. Here it is right here. There you go. So thanks for joining us today, and we will see you next week with another Tuesday Tip. And send your video so you can be featured on the fourth <laughs> Tuesday. Goodbye, everybody. Stay in touch.